your servant died. Yeah. Oh, the
One tag team partner couldn't come, so what do you do? You turn to your family, and he brings in the notorious 187. That's exactly it. They go back a long, long time. Back in the doghouse days. Mucks of Mac fighting off both members of TV ready. Ducking that clothesline. Oh, but look at that. Look at that. Braxton able to make the tag. Jeez. And Mucks of Mac has no idea. Here comes Black G's. And it was one month ago. Yeah, one month ago. Black G's wisely targeted the knee of Mucks of Mac. And this is why TV ready is so dangerous. They don't care how they have to take you out. They just make sure they will. It's a makeshift team. I think the Notorious 187 has pretty much been an honorary member of the Hit Squad for many, many years now. Yeah, going on about yeah. two decades. But it's been a while since they've teamed up. We're trying to discredit people, guys. They're not Snopes. Yeah, solid reference yeah. in 2003. <laughs> Thank you. And there's Allie interjecting herself once again. TV ready, doing whatever they can to eliminate Steve Mack and take home the CZW World Tag Team Championships. And if TV Ready is smart, they will not let Homicide into that ring at all whatsoever. This is exactly what they need to do. Mack is coming into this match with an injury. They are exploiting it. And uh, they need to keep him isolated if they want to leave Voorhees, New Jersey with those CZW World Tag Team Championship belts. They know how much this night means to Homicide. We not only honor Chris Cash, we honor Trent Acid. And Trent Acid was one of Homicide's favorite opponents. So he's a little extra amped up here tonight. Man, that series of matches that they had in, what, uh, 2002, 2003? My goodness. Classics. Check them out on CZWstudios.com.
six. Face. Oh, okay, I didn't think either of you would figure that out. Oh, but look at this. Homicide. Tripping up. Braxton Sutter trying to bring him over to Boston Crab. He's got it full Boston Crab. Sutter, though, got to, he's got to make it in the ropes, or he's got to wait for Black G's. That didn't work out. Black G's, he came in too slowly there. Homicide the one man wrecking through here tonight. Homicide's about to shut her up. He better not. I don't know why, but he should yeah. not care. But it's the reason why he's a notorious 187. What is so notorious about this? What makes this notorious? Oh, oh, there you go. You don't, you don't attack a man's wife. Shouldn't have been in the ring to begin with, That's Jake. That's like a man's car. Maybe almost as bad. Black cheese followed up with a huge frog splash. Sutter for the cover. Almost had new champions. Yeah, but Steve Mackin, the Monster Mack, breaking up the three count. Making uh, quick work out of Black G is thrown into the outside. And all the chaos is ensued here. So Braxton Sutter looking for a deadlift suplex. Trying to muscle him up. Oh, my God! But he's in the corner. Smartly raising that hand and tagging Monster Mack. Mackin, that's treason. Bosses him off. Ducks it to his clothesline. Oh, man, but a drop kick sent him down both. Son and G's. One boot for each man, and Monster Mack now has Bryson Sutter in his sights. What's he got here? Oh, God, G's low. Two and he usually likes to go a bit higher with that bulldog drop kick combination, and because he didn't, that's what allowed Black G's to break up that pinfall. Now G's on the attack of Homicide. Homicide oh, takes G's right down to the hard concrete floor. G's went flying. Look at that. Ace Crusher. And Monster Mac takes his head off. That is it. No. What a match. Here are your winners. And still.
handshake, and Dan, I am fired up for this matchup. This has uh, all the makings of a true instant classic written all over it. Joey Lynch, another tope suicida, a man who was very impressive in the Scenic City Invitational Tournament down in Chattanooga, Tennessee, last month, had a breakout performance, he's wrestling all over the place, and this is why Joey Lynch going up and over, tope Don Hilo, taking out all, all of his competition. All these men are pulling out all the stops. Anthony Henry, last time we saw him here in the combat zone was at best of the best 15. Best of the best 16 Absolutely. in Orlando, Florida. Ooh. Yeah, they gotta get past tonight, though. How about Ryan Taylor with that kick? You gotta get past tonight. Every single one of these men in this match wanna make their name tonight. It's what Down with the Sickness was all about. Opportunity for athletes to prove why they belong at CZW. And they're funny with that spirit that Chris Cash had way back when. Oh, so out of Anthony Henry.
match in one-on-one -on -one matches, the first one of their feet has the advantage. But when you're facing three other people, it doesn't always work out for you. There's so many variables to work for. Yeah, way too many. Plus, don't forget, uh, Amber Young on the outside. I have it. Declan still has a lot of fight in him. Trying to slug it out, dead center of the ring now. Man, Anthony Henry, he's a hard hitter. Looks like he takes some shots too, but how many? Declan's got himself all worked up. Comes charging in and got smacked right in the back of his head. Yeah, he just knocked him out. Maybe not. Devin sidestepping him. Up he goes. Oh, no. No, no. To drive by his neck over the top rope. A decapitating, a decapitating TKO. Look at Henry. Lopez suicida by Anthony Henry. And is Joey Lynch going to dive again? Yep. No, oh. no, he's not. Nope, nope. Bad call. Anthony Henry taking everyone out right now as he's coming to the top, driving his knees right down to the sternum. Go for a cover. One, two, and there's Taylor in the pull wall. He would have had a chance. Look at their strength being shown here.
darkness is rising Don't try to deny what you feel Set up. Jake Black, please. Well, right now, 
Desmond Xavier being sent into the corner. Shane Strickland in. Shane Strickland being sent to the outside. Strickland is daring him. Oh, man. He lured him in with that one, guys. Face first. And Shane Strickland on top. Back press. Both legs. One, one, one count. Well, there's the experience of Shane Strickland, though. Using misdirection to get back in the ring. But Desmond Xavier has something to prove. Kicking out at one. Desmond Xavier, we've primarily seen him in tag team matches. With Zachary Wentz, every single time, impressive. Came up a little bit short against the hit squad last time out here. But now we're seeing him in a singles match. The first time since Best of the Best, where he also impressed everybody with his athleticism. Yeah, that matchup he had with David Starr was incredible. Semi-finals are best of the best. And look at this innovative submission hold into a chop. Check it out on CGWstudios.com. Strickland, and you don't want to do that. Absolutely not. There was more ferocity within that shot after that, uh, after Xavier got in Strickland's face like that. Well, yeah, you're Shane Strickland, something you don't want to do. We've seen, we've seen the link Shane Strickland go to. Oh, oh man. And of course, on the matchup. You're absolutely right. Especially when he reaches that next level. Especially, oh, oh. His block off with that one. He's maybe knocked out. And Shane Strickland feeling himself a little bit with that cocky pin. A little bit of come on, baby. Uh, Shane Strickland, that time you, you, you heard him say, it's like, you're supposed to be the next superstar. But Xavier didn't take kindly of that. Caught him with a huge slap, followed by that STO. Press because why not? Yeah, if you can do it, do it. I'm not gonna cast judgment. Yeah, but what's even more impressive is the fact that Shane Strickland was able to kick out of that. Oh, yeah. Have you ever tried a sky twister press? I'm actually more impressed by that. I haven't even tried a press. I don't even do that to my clothes, no matter the rear. Yeah, you're in t shirts again this month. Exactly. Well, right now, Desmond Xavier is setting the International King oh, look at the corner. He like basically went across the ring backwards, halfway. Incredible body control out of Desmond Xavier. We got an onslaught too. We seriously have to find out where Dave Chris found these men. We got to know the backstory of where you find someone like Desmond Xavier or Zachary Wentz. You're absolutely right. Desmond Xavier staring a hole through. Uh, Dan Yost not pleased with the two count. Swerve up to his feet as we set up in a suplex position. I'd almost be surprised if we just saw a regular suplex for Desmond Xavier, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah, that would actually shock me. It would still be effective. Yeah, but that's a, that's, a, that's a big, big rest when he's trying to suplex right now. And Shane Strickland is very interesting. Yeah, he can't, he can't get the leverage to bring him over, and he can't use. He's trying to soften up with those shots in the stomach. Oh, he went to the knee. Did you see that? Somehow Shane Strickland back him into that corner to break free of that. Ooh! That one got him like right in the temple, I think. Could seriously knock off his equilibrium there. And it looks like he's out on his feet, going on instinct, trying to lift himself up. The ropes. Somehow had enough to put that shoulder in the gut. Touching the stomp. Shane Strickland any longer than one second to recuperate. Because he's just going to come back and hit something like that on you. And the left taking out Shane Strickland. <laughs> These are two of the most athletically gifted guys in CZW right now. Yeah, forget CZW right now. That I've seen, period. Let's try to timeline it for everybody. And right now, Desmond Xavier to the second row. Tell you what, that probably wound up better 
good for Shane Strickland than what he had originally intended because he got him with a twofer. You know, we're going to forget that by the end of the match. Did you see how high Shane Strickland lifted his leg up for that super kick? Absurd. It's going to be forgotten that everything else they've done, and I was impressed by that. A waistline trying for a half and half, it looks like here. Trying to manipulate his wrist, but what's going to take here? Bring him down. Eats a big elbow out of Strickland. Not only deterred him for a second, he came right back in. Ducks underneath. It's amazing. We've been, we've been going at this now. We're in the late, late time frame of this match, and both these men are showing no sign of slowing down. Are you shitting me? He fell oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell? Spiked him! What is this? Xavier going to win this match? Oh, what the hell? How in the hell did Shane Strickland just kick out? That was Desmond Xavier's opportunity to put himself even further on the map here in CZW. And Shane Strickland, so resilient, able to kick out of that. No matter what, Desmond oh, Xavier is scaling to the top rope once again. What does he have planned now? No matter what, he's on the map here at CZW. Oh, but the swerve's not going to let him. And he tumbled all the way to the floor. The swerve's not going to let him become an even higher property here in the combat zone. Now, his expense on the map, he takes it to the air. Oh. Twisting moonsault. And there is a degree of hesitation there, purposely, from Shane Strickland. The athleticism in this man is beyond compare. Well, except for maybe Desmond Xavier. Oh, this is it. This is going to be it. The swerve high atop the combat zone now. You know what's coming up. Oh, for that swerve stop. Try to finish him. Oh, God, it's over. Championships. And this is even for a championship. Desmond Xavier said, come on, man. And uh, Shane Strickland gave it to him. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. On his head. What's that? Is this Storm Cradle Driver? One, two, and three. Shane Strickland rightfully giving props to his opponent. You know what, I agree with each and every member in this crowd chanting, that is awesome. It's a rematch, right? And there's... Causes, but JT Davidson was not quite happy that Desmond Xavier just shook the hand of Shane Strickland. He has orders to follow. What a match. What a match. And like MLJ was just saying, it's only match three. We have a hell of a lot more to come here tonight on StreamCZW.com.
abstract. That idea ain't worth a velvet painting of a whale and a dolphin getting in a
Taylor surplex. With Josh Crane and Dale Patrick's right on the attack of the Dubs. Gets over that foot right to the face. Patrick and Crane working together.
Trent asked that his trainer. That's why you got toilet paper in the ring, you fucking piece of shit. Well, they seem to have taken over the combat zone right now, refusing to leave the ring.
is fired up for this. Definitely some mutual respect we're seeing right there. It's obvious. Not a match of a personal issue here, just a match between Sammy Callahan. Return to the combat zone. He wants to do it with a blaze of glory over the winner of Tournament of Death 15. Anticipated matchups of, the, of tonight. Hell, all the matches tonight are highly anticipated. And they've delivered so far tonight. I, I think this one's not going to be an exception to that. These two are going to have a hard hitting match. One, two. two Ohio boys. Oh, RSP, uh, usually fun loving and jovial. Yeah, but he knows what this match means. Stepping up in the ring with Sammy Callahan, one of the most decorated athletes in the combat zone's history. You know, you think about it, if RSP could beat Matt Tremont and Sammy Callahan in the same calendar year, that's impressive for anybody. Thank you. 
Gates. This is Ricky Shane Page from a year ago, where he was trying to get his foot in the door here at CZW. Sure. First one didn't get him, but the second one certainly did. And that can spell the end here for Callahan. We're only getting a two count as Callahan kicking out before three. Hey, for a big dude, Ricky Shane Page moves very well. He's very fast with his feet. Very deceptively agile. He's bringing Callahan back up, sending him in the corner. And unleashing a slap of his own. SP. Going from coast to coast. Oh, but Callahan smartly tripping him up and sending Ricky Shane Page into that second turnbuckle. Now, who's the man? Straight, taking out RSP, but Callahan's not done yet. He wants to go for two. Taking a little too long here as RSP is up to a knee. Followed him in. Big elbow block. Big Shane Page comes on in. Big boot in the corner. Sammy had nowhere to go. Had to absorb all of that. one too and he's not letting Callahan deleting him oh I forgot oh, Lord. I'm actually deleting him too it's gonna be in two and three oh. that was some quick work too uh oh oh no here is your winner RSP Ricky Looks like we finally have all four men 
separated here. Who's her body? 
everybody for him. And for what? Oh. And right now, Dave Chris is taking out Dave Starr thanks to the antics of Scarlett and Graves. There's not a safe spot for David Starr in this matchup. Oh. Every single person on the outside associated with Scarlett and Graves is going to be focused on him and make sure there's no shot he ever gets that pinfall victory or submission victory over Dave Chris. Point is, he's not beaten the leader of the killer call. was trying to there's literally no, destroy David Starr with that offensive maneuver. There is no way this is going to end tonight. There's no way. More guardrails. What the hell is a guardrail doing under the ring, guys? In case one of them broke. I think we just broke like six. Well, there's the replacement one. One out of six. Excellent. For David Starr, he's not he's not really well versed in the ultraviolet style like Dave Chris. Dave Chris has made a event at this very event a few years ago. He knows how to rearrange the combat zone to his liking. Dave Chris has been a tangled web. David Starr has been in a down with the sickness ladder match. Ironically, against Dave Chris. Dave Chris has more experience in this environment, but what is David Starr fueled by? What is driving him tonight? Well, you, you, you can't forget that about three. You can't forget about I'm pretty sure Dave Chris knocked David Starr out. David Starr has really no recollection of that main event. But these two, and there's no championships on the line tonight. This is about pride. These two men have been battling across the world. Yeah, you know, we, we saw, we talked about in the last match with Sammy Callahan and RSP. There is no personal animosity between those two. With this match, it's all hatred. This is all personal issue. These men have to try to get the other one out of their lives, out of their career path, so they can go forward. One of them, these men, at some point, well, what is, it's hard for us to see. I feel like Dave Chris was going for something. He's got a chair set up in the entranceway, guys. He's got that open chair. Sorry, we'll stop that. Ooh, the pretty pumped right onto that open chair on the outside. And there's Zachary Wins interjecting himself once again. It was only a matter of time, quite frankly. Oh. That clothesline. Yeah, that move well scattered. Wins, that oh. handspring flying knee right to the product's face. There's nothing Daniels can do about this either. No, you're absolutely right. It's in the story of Dave Chris using the allegiance of these men to his advantage. He has built an army. And he is their leader. He is the general. Oh, God! Super kick using the chair. Right in the skull of David Starr. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Dave Christ is clearly looking for something. He has a game plan. But uh, as you can see, Scarlet and Graves, they're waiting for their orders. Each each member on another on a different side of the ring. David Starr has yet to recover. Chris now setting up a table, forcing our staff members here to help him set it up. He's a leader to everyone. People listen to what he says. Just a loading on David Starr with that fist right to the face. Setting him up on the table. Dangerous things on the mind of Dave Chris. Chris now high atop the combat zone with evil intentions in mind. He is looking at this Dave Star back to his feet. Oh, oh, Jesus! Spine first on that railing. Dave Chris for a 
second, barked an order at Zach Wentz, and that's all David Starr needed. He saw the opening. Wait, and Wentz, David Wentz, Starr Wentz. thinking about doing here. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, right into the second row. David Starr catapulting himself on the David Chris and taking out our foul. Oh, no, they're coming right over here. This is a different side of, St of David Starr than we've ever seen before. center of a black and yellow ring. I'm going to try to get a close look on the uh, production monitor over here, guys. I'm the closest uh, to this situation. I'm trying to see what exactly is happening here. These men, these men are just tearing apart the Flyers' skate zone here tonight at Down With The Sickness. There's a sea of humanity surrounding the wrestlers here. Oh. David Starr unleashes a shot. Dave Chris gives it right back to him, though. Uh oh, bad move by Zach Wentz. David Starr opens up a violence party on him. Him right on the floor here. And he's got a handful of Zach Wentz's hair. He's Are they going? Are they going outside? They're going outside here at the skate. He threw him out the door. Wait a look. He's locking the door. David Starr just locked Zach Wentz out of here. Well, that's one way. What a smart move. Even the odds a little bit. There's still more of them, though. And there is still more. You saw JT Davidson and Brittany Blake. And you got to think Desmond Xavier's out here somewhere, too. Well, I was going to say it's interesting to note that Desmond Xavier did not come out here. Very true. After what we saw earlier tonight with Shane Strickland. JT Davidson's in front of us here, starting to worry about his, about his clients right now. Uh, they're coming our direction. Well, I'm ready to bail. Oh, they're going to David Starr. David Starr using that trash can as a weapon. Plays it over a head. And over here by us, JT Davidson is beside himself. He is. This is the worst I think I've ever seen the man. This cannot be good for the man's blood pressure. And look at David Starr standing high atop this wall here, soaking in the adulation. Turning on the lights in the process. And they're coming even closer to us here. Face first into a table. <laughs> This is not good. David Starr just something crazy planned as he's setting that table up. JT Davidson is over here nearly having an aneurysm. And what is David Starr going to do here? Where is he going to go? He's going upstairs. David Starr's not on the fly. You don't have a lot of room up there either. He's got Our camera equipment up there. David Starr scaling the scaffolding. Him right in the in the balls, it looked like. They know a pretty way to call that. Tremendous pinpoint accuracy. It's a small area to hit. Oh, come on. And Dave Chris looking to risk his own body to take out Dan. Oh, Jesus Christ! And that table's legs just gave way under the force that both men fell to the floor. That table stood no damn chance. Falls 
count anywhere. If one of them can recover and maybe slide on top for the pinfall, we could have a, a winner here out of this situation. JT Davidson trying to rally David Chris back into the match. Oh, Chris is out of it. He's, he's, got to carry, he's, he's carrying him out of the match. He's carrying him out of What is he doing? Well, he's made David Davidson. Is he making is he throwing in the towel here? Dave Chris has a glassy-eyed look on his face. Bringing him back to the ring. I don't actually know where David Starr is right now. And he's been lost in the sea of, sea of people here at the Flyers Skate Zone. Both men letting it all hang out. They want to finish this. I, tell you, I knew that this was going to be a fight. But I had no idea it was going to be this kind of fight. Uh, what's <laughs> everybody in the building practically is standing. Almost everybody is up. Oh, God, what is... is it, look, they both got skewers. Well, Tame and Star, he's very good friends with the ultra-violent beast. JML, brother. Gruesome, disgusting, nasty. Rocking the kick. Ooh, knee strike. Both men stepping out of their cover so taking it ultra mile. Oh, no, no, no. Sort of, it, it's sort of like a wake-up call for him. He knows he's in a bad situation, and he's driven by the desire to finally defeat David Christ in the center of a CZW ring. He may not do it. And that's what's put away before he slipped. I think he partway slipped, and uh, David Starr helped push. Oh, no, Dave Chris, he's hurt. <laughs> Sharpshooter. Yeah. No, wait, maybe not. No. Oh, yeah. Scorpion cross lock he might be going for here. Can, you know what? What does this war mean to Dave Chris? Can Dave Chris take this pain just to prevent David Starr from ever saying well, he's got the victory? Make sure he's ever got the victory over the leader of the killer cult. And with JT Davidson now. He's not going to let this happen. Chair right to the back. David brought up. David had seen enough. He wasn't going to let his man tap out to the product. And then JT Davidson. The Iron Manager with a huge spine buster. Where in the world? How? I've never seen JT Davidson do this. Well, he's got to do it. He doesn't have a choice here. He wants to make sure... JT Davidson. I don't know if we see this. He's not gonna. He's gonna. He's doing it. He's gonna. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Iron Manager has just gone through a table. That makes me happy. Yeah, but it doesn't win David Starr the match. It's one less part of the puzzle that he has to worry about. But Brittany Blake is still at ring 
Rollins. And don't forget, Brittany Blake is the one that cost him the match back at New Heights against Dave Crest. Here's the product. What the hell's in that fucking? I'm pretty sure he must have spent with that in Texas for a little bit. Spent some time with the ultraviolet beast right now. Because all God only knows what's in that bucket. Well, it's something he plans on ending Dave Crest with. That's about right. Thumbtacks. Thumbtacks in a bucket. Let's go. Sounds very marketable, but oh, speaking of that. Honey, honey, honey. This. Oh! That's what you get, Dave, David Starr. Chris just knocked her in the next week with that kick. And all Scarlett and Graves has been completely neutralized. Kick to the midsection. Magdalene, oh, no, he's going to no, hit no, this guy. No, 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 Wow, right into the attacks. It's done. One, two, and what? David Starr continues to be driven by the desire to finally defeat Dave Christ. Defiantly kicking out out of the Magdalene in the thumbtacks. That is how bad Dave Starr wants to win this matchup. And David Starr is fighting a battle like he's never fought before. The thumbtacks, the skewers, the tables, the fighting on the outside. These men want an ultra violence, and these men are giving each other ultra violence here and down with the sickness. And Dave Crest realizing he bought himself some time, even though he wasn't able to put away the steel chairs back into the ring. They just threw that chair right in the back of David Starr. Scarlett Graves has been neutralized, but right now it might not matter as Dave Chris is firmly in control of this matchup. This has just been an all-out war, a hell of a fight, and I don't know what else Dave Chris has in mind to try and end the product. Look, he even used his sphere of influence to get Dan Yost to bring a chair into the ring. Who can't this guy manipulate with his mind? He's an absolute genius. A sick and twisted one, but a genius. Yeah, that is true. The cows, and this is the sick and twisted side. Just covering those chairs in the thumbtacks. And he's not done. He's going to use all of them.
and gentlemen, Jonathan Gresham has informed me to tell you people that he is doing this match because he loves this company. He is a CZW best of the best winner.
side. Joe Gacy uh, laying waste to Jonathan Gresham, it appears like. Oh, look at Greg Excellent. Onslaughting. That thumb tap back. Greg Excellent and Joe Gacy have both been involved in some ultra-violent matches against each other. Tangled Web 3, in fact. Yeah. Both have competed in the of death. Uh, and that's what I said at the beginning. I mean, three out of the four of these competitors have been death match tested. Jonathan Gresham. He has not. And we'll see his test here tonight. Yeah, I'll say. And, 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 and Greg Excellent, you know, even though he's he has been tested, not really known for ultraviolet style, he's clearly not afraid to step into an ultraviolet ring. It was a few months ago, he nearly set Joe Casey and Matt Trema on fire in the center of the ring. That, that's how that's how crazy Greg Excellent has become over attempting to win and become the CCW World Heavyweight Champion. Those are the drastic measures in which he will employ here. That's not the way he sees it, though, but what he's feeling are those nails being driven into his body from the carpet strips. And Greg Eklund's mind, everybody else's change. He's stayed the same, and it hasn't worked out for him. And, that, and that's really not the case whatsoever. Still on the outside of the ring. Gresham in control of Joe Gacy. Ooh. Matt Shrema getting the upper hand on Greg Exxon by throwing that guardrail at him. And I'm not sure if Greg Exxon's. Wow, what a right hand. Greg Exxon's feeling he made the right choice for what he signed up for tonight. And he's been begging for it, begging for it for months. Now he's got it. And right now, Gacy turning the tide on Gresham on the other side of the ring. Yeah, meanwhile, Tremont just took a chunk by the forehead of Greg Exley. What a thud. Gresham now in fear, trying to stop that stapler from going into his forehead. Gresham doing everything he could to make sure he didn't taste the staple. It was great. Gresham's... <laughs> There's a second stapler, and Matt Tremont's got a hold of it. to the stairs. Oh, God! Toilet the paper, staples of the skull of the challenger. And this is definitely not what Greg Exxon envisioned. I mean, how could you not think that something like this would happen? How do you go into a match like this and not expect to go through this sort of punishment? Trima has lost his sense of humor amongst his battle. Stable that right to his ass. Greg Axel is a bloody mess. Oh, gross. Look at the way it's rolling down his neck and the front of his face. Oh, man. Gresham eating that water jump. like this. Gacy on the outside is beating the holy hell out of Jonathan Gresham with that water jump as Matt Tremont. And you know those water jumps are hard as hell, man. Yeah. Matt Tremont looking to perform some ultraviolet feng shui here, searching for some weaponry. It's on industrial plastic, and this is a great follow-up by Gacy. Gresham's worst nightmare has come to fruition here at Down With The Sickness. I guarantee you, Jonathan Gresham never thought he'd be on the receiving end of a staple gun shot in his career. And Matt Trema broke up what Gresham and Gacy had going on on the other side. Maybe he saw the chainsaw getting a little bit too much momentum. 
Gresham seeking some some peace in the center of the ring, but he's not going to get it as he sees a bloody, bloody. Greg actually looks like a zombie. Greg is a block in the chair, though. That woke him up. Oh, missing. Gresham doesn't know what to do. He just kicked him right now. Well, that works, and it works. Being sent face first into that turnbuckle. Greg, excellent. Look at what Gresham's got, though. Barely, barely stopping him short of those carpet strips. Shots fired by Jonathan Gresham with that staple gun. And Greg, excellent. A bloody mess. Setting something up in the ring. Something dangerous, something he plans on using to put away somebody to win this championship. First fall wins it, right guys? This is not elimination, this is... Greg down. And he 
you see Greg Aslan's blood just covering that jug. Oh, oh to the upper back. Well, there's Chrissy Rivera. That's taking some reinforcements in the form of a barbed wire bat. That same barbed wire bat from best to the best that he used to lay out. Digging that barbed wire into the already opened up forehead. Getting the ropes ain't gonna save it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be broken up by that. Here's a weird sentence. Jonathan Gresham wielding a barbed wire baseball bat. And no hesitation using it. A bit uh, hypocritical, no? Yes. Oh shit! What the fuck? Jonathan Gresham's career is flashing before his eyes. His career, his life is flashing before his eyes. He's making sure that doesn't get used. Or at worst, he's not the recipient. Gresham actually handling things with that barbed wire baseball bat. They played some Little League back in the day. Oh no! Oh no! Jonathan Gresham has never tasted the glass! Look at the fear in his eyes! That's all gonna cheat!
Tree might break it free. Oh, huge spine buster. He, he might have it. One, two, and oh. somehow Greg excellent kicking out, getting that shoulder up before three. You guys talked about the eight and a half year long journey. Put away many men with this. This has been the most out of control night of the year here in the combat. So oh, I love it. it. I love oh, it. I love it too. What the? Uh, really? Well, what are you? Why am I What the fuck is he?
most anticipated match of the night. And we've had a lot of them, Dad. Yes, we have. Janela Rush for the Chris Cash Memorial Ladder Match. These men have spanned the entire calendar year going to war with each other. And tonight is the final chapter. It was one year ago at the Chris Cash Memorial Show down with the sickness that Leo Rush and Joey Janela had their first matchup. And now here we are one year later. Can you say big fight feel? Good Lord. Started as just a competitive rivalry for the Wire Championship. Then at Proving Grounds, Leo Rush changed the whole complexion when he defeated Joey Janela for that Wire Championship using a right low blow and then cutting a scathing a scathing interview bringing down Janela and everyone in the combat zone since then Joey Janela after going through a career shortening injury or at least career stopping injury now revenge and tonight that's his big plan to take that title from Leo Rush I think it's important to note that Leo Rush refused to give Joey Janela the rematch that he deserved and at best of the best he just pulverized Janela into a bloody mess and Janela looking like he wants to do that to Rush tonight. Rush fire back with those shots. Lightning-like speed. Yeah, just over three months of Janelle's career lost over the summer. He had Suffering a uh, ruptured pendant in his thumb. Yeah, three months he had to sit back and wait. And at that moment that he, that, that he would get back in the ring and finally be allowed to challenge for the CZW Wired Championship. You can see he's wearing the uh, protective brace on his left thumb. So I don't think he really learned much from that crazed accident. Because when he came out here, he climbed right to the top of that gigantic ladder in the entranceway. Joe Janelle, he's just going to pick up where he left off. He's on a mission. He's got to get. He wants to get that wire championship back from Leo Rush, a man who has publicly said negative things about everybody in the company, and particularly Joey Janela. He's made it clear he really doesn't even want to be here. He feels that he's above the combat zone. Well, the combat but he's got one of the championships. Look at Janela packaging him up. Oh, bringing him down right on his neck. And Janela wants to bring a ladder to this match right away. He's got to watch out for locking keys on the outside, the Dixon line. Two men who are very helpful in Leo Rush retaining the championship against Johnny Silver back in August. He's holding that thumb, guys. And this is where Leo Rush is going to become dangerous. And look, he's going right, right to work on that wrist and that thumb. I mean, it was for, for most of the summer, people were ex not expecting to see Joey Janela back in the ring until November. And here he is. Rolls return might be short lived. Rush keeps this up. Leo, Leo took off that brace and slammed his hand and thumb into that into the apron. And on, on top of that, he, oh, the guardrail. On it's, top of that, Leo Rush is also irate with the way this match came about. Yeah. It was at the closing moments of our August high pay per view on StreamCZW.com that that legendary, legendary video played. And, and, and Leo has been watching that video ad nauseum. You, you, you can see, it looks like he hasn't slept in days. He's just... We, we saw the video first for ourselves at CZWrestling.com and our official YouTube channel. It shows you now a huge kick to the face. That's the ladder you're going to need in order to get way up there. Janela, he's known as the bad boy. He's showboating. He, he wants to get under the skin of Leo Rush while taking the championship away from him. Oh. But if he's not careful, it all could go away very quickly. And 
Joey Janela has been thinking about this day, like you said, ever since it became a reality that he could step back in the ring and try to take this title away from Rush, who's not letting Janela get that ladder in the ring. He's fighting him for it. Leo jabbing that ladder into the solar plexus of Janela. Human body. 
body is not meant to land in that form or fashion across those objects placed that way. It is just not. Joey Janela's game plan backfiring off and almost gets himself impaled. Janela is practically motionless in the ring as Leo Rush. Are you serious? Bringing in that big ladder. That ladder that's going to take him back to his championship. I still can't get over the way. He just used a Spanish fly to bring him into those chairs. That could have gotten ugly. That was terrible the way he landed. It could have been very ugly, though. Could have been. It was. Oh, well, yeah. it could have been worse. But it did so much damage to Joey Janela. Clearing the ring of all the weapons. You can see the anger in Leo Rush. He doesn't want to be in this match any longer than he's already been. He wants to end it now. He's not here for revenge. He's here to prove he's the best. And right now he's scaling the gigantic ladder. Wait, what? It's Penelope Ford. That is Joey Janela's girlfriend. For those of you who didn't know that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much of that is public knowledge, but yes, that is a, a confirmed shoot, as they say. She's definitely concerned for the well-being of her boyfriend, but she doesn't see the lock and keys the Dixon Line security team for Leo Rush. Penelope got to get out of there. Well, where's she going to go? Who's going to let her go? This is where Leo Rush is, is not thinking straight himself. Now he's just forcing Penelope Ford to watch this onslaught, this attack from the Dixon line. This, this, is a, this is a little uncomfortable, guys. Penelope trying to save her boyfriend. This is, just, this is a spile of the Dixon line and, and Leo Rush is doing to this young lady. This is low down as it gets. And Rush is going to make her watch him climb to hit the glory. She's going to make, he's going to make Penelope watch once again as Joey comes up short against Leo Rush. Leo Rush reaching for that championship and he needs to go up a few more steps. And Joey Janela, okay. Joey Janela, sending Leo Rush to the outside. Take it out, Leo Rush. And look at the shot across the face of the Line. Joey Janela took out Leo Rush, but he's got to deal with these guys now. The Dixon line doing what they feel they need to do, and it's attack Joey Janela as they shove Penelope Ford to the ground. She's the one who knows better than anyone that Joey Janela realistically should not have done this match tonight. Yeah, you're right. Penelope's starting to fight back. What? Oh, hold him for that super kick. Look at Joe Keys now. The bad boy. The bad boy is being backed in by Joe Keys. There's the athleticism from Penelope Ford. Back hand spring elbow. Catching keys by surprise. Now the bad boy, if he can get back to his feet, Leo Rush is still taking it out, but it looks like Penelope Ford isn't done. She's not done with lock and keys. She's out of her goddamn mind. Taking that lock and keys is Penelope Ford. Bringing him onto that table, and Joey Janela. No way. She's got him. Just 
motion for his landing. Leo Rush had nothing. He just hit the floor hard. What is she going to do? Grab that title, Joey. Support beams are bent all to hell. Not to mention you're climbing up a. But wait, wait, wait! Hot on his trail. Leo Rush with every ounce of his being slowly. Oh, 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 Joey Janela, he might need to stay down, but if, if, if he can, he's going to get up to his feet, and he's going to keep getting up to his feet. If, if there's a breath left in his body, he's going to get up to his feet and keep on fighting. That's how much this matchup means to him. Joey Janela's going to fight to the day he can't fight anymore, and that day might be today if Leo Rush has his way. that table so he can use it like you said as an exclamation point to prove his superiority to the challenger Joey Janela Is that table set up now yeah. Rush wants to prove this thing might have started evenly contested it's not anymore because he has surpassed the bad boy Rush now has a hand Joey Janela's hair. What more can he do to the man? Ooh, Janela fight back. These two men just squaring off in a fist fight in the center of this ring. For years, we've been calling the Wired Championship the most exciting championship in all professional wrestling, and you're seeing that right now. You're seeing the reason why it is the most exciting championship in professional wrestling. Damn right, I love this. Neither man willing to budge. Oh, man! Knockout shot from Joey Janela. He connected full force. Set them ladders up. Uh, man, it's got what, like 10, 12 minutes? Yeah, ago? early in the match. Oh, and now Leo Rush dragging in control now. Yeah, he's dragging Joey to the outside. Joey. Is he, he going to go for that Spanish fly on those? I think that's what he had intended, but Joey Janela fighting his, his way out of this yeah, thing. Joey Janela could not take that. Joey Janela would not be able to absorb that. Janela now looking at that championship. Looking at that championship. But doesn't look like Leo Rush is down and out just yet. Janela's going to the top. He's scaling to the top of the flyer skates over here in Voorhees. He's not going to be able to reach the, the, the belt from that side. That's Joey. not what's on his mind. Joey Janela is going to take the ultimate.
this is not good at all. This is not looking good. I'm not sure quite what happened, but somebody, somebody is down and out. Somebody is injured in this situation right now. Championship. 
Championship and walk away with it. I don't know if Joey Janela... This is not the way Janela wanted to return to the combat zone. Joey has signs of life, but how much life is there? His own life support, essentially. Rush halfway up the ladder. Janela now. Somehow. How the hell is he doing this? For the second time. No. Oh, God, no. What the hell? Oh, no, no, no. God Almighty. Holy shit. That is not what I thought was going to happen. Joey Janela using every last ounce in his being, dumping Leo Rush to the outside. But does he have enough to climb that ladder? Situations, one of those life or death situations where you get superhuman strength, obviously. Everything that Joey Janela has gone through. 